Hey guys, welcome back to uh, JB's Quarry for Quariums for Beginners. I'd like to give a couple shout outs to a couple of uh, subscribers and a couple friends. Uh, first one is going to be to New York Stilo. Second one is going to be to uh, Money Mark J for helping me come up with the design for my intro and stuff like that. They actually get me uh, started with that. Uh, the third one is going to be to uh, Krug1313. Um, he actually helped me with a lot of um, pro uh, get, getting the ideas or helping me, aiding me with the uh, video process of making my videos look more clean and stuff like that. I am actually uh, I stopped using my uh, iPhone to make the videos now. I am using a, uh, a video camera. I think this is a Samsung P8, PL200. Um, I mean, it works pretty well. I filmed a couple videos with it so far, and it's it's doing pretty good. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I I am building a whole new refugium and a whole new underbelly of the beast. So stay tuned for that. Uh, these are gonna be a couple series of uh, new videos on how to build stuff, and these are actually real how to builds. Um, <clears throat> So you're gonna see like the designs of like, say for example, the 75 gallery feed gym that's gonna be coming out. Uh, this is gonna be, you know, a, a process. You know, over time you get the design that you want. And then the other thing is putting it into glass and making it work. So, you know, this was the old design uh, from the last video that you saw with the bio balls and stuff like that. Sent me back a little bit, it was like $234 uh, since I, I, I had to buy the tank. Um, I, the tank was a custom made or anything like that, so that's why it costs a, a, a little bit high. But other than that, I'm not really worried about it. But uh, today we're gonna be talking about the uh, Reef Octopus Protein Skimmer. Um, obviously, um, these are one of the better choices and stuff like that. Um, the reason I went with it is because of the needle skim technology. Basically, uh, the uh, pump has like a, a needle on the intake and it basically uh, makes the uh, fine chops the bubbles and then it goes through this uh, piece right here which makes even more bubbles and then by the time it gets up to the top and it's aerated and stuff like that um, once you get to the top of the skimmer which is over there uh, you can actually uh, the you'll get what's called dry skim these are only, uh, these are one of the few skimmers that do that you know what I mean and at, at Reef Octopus, they back their skimmers 100% um, from the reviews and from all the stuff that I read and everything like that. These are one of the uh, best skimmers out. I mean, I, I think New York Stilo has an EV240 or something like that, um, which is another uh, skimmer. And then I think the, the third one I was looking at was the uh, ASM, The I think it's called the G3 or whatever. Uh, those are the three top three skimmers that I was looking at, um, but I decided to go with the Reef Octopus um, and because of uh, of what I read about it and stuff like that. We'll see how it works out when I finally get the new uh, part of the system up and running. Um, we'll be doing this over the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys stay tuned, keep watching, and I hope you uh, enjoy the videos. So uh, let's get into it. This is going to be uh, the Reef Octopus right here. What you're looking at right here is the uh, reaction chamber. Um, uh, this this large piece of equipment right here is the reaction chamber. This is where all the action happens. Uh, the pump gets connected right here. It basically forces the water into here. And like I said, inside the pump, there's uh, we're, we'll take it apart in a second. Um, it basically chops up the water, then it pumps it through here, which chops it up some more. Then it goes up the chamber, and then we're gonna have some other stuff up here. But um, let's uh, let's go ahead and start putting this together. Um, let's turn over here. This is the pump right here. Uh, basically, to put this together, you're gonna take 
this portion off. Uh, all right, you gotta open the front of the pump. Now, if you wanna see inside the pump, you can turn this this way and you can sort of pull this off and then, oh great, it didn't do it. Let's see. Well, usually you can turn this to see the inside of the pump and all the uh, manufacturing. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is what the inside looks like, and as you can see, it has this little this little blade right here. This is what aerates the uh, and it starts making the little bubbles, pumps it through here, and then that's how you get that going. Um, all right, let's close that back up. All right, now now that we have um, the pump open, nice and open, we are going to take um, we're going to take this piece right here, which is like an air intake device. Um, you're going to place this piece on top of here, and you're basically going to spin it. Let's see if we can get this on. You're going to spin it until it gets on. Um, the reason you see me pitching it at an angle. Oh. All right. The reason you see me pitching it at an angle is because we're going to need to set up some other stuff to it. And you want to have a little angle. Now you're going to take the pump. You're going to slide it over to the uh, reaction chamber. And you're going to screw those two together. Um, some of these uh, reef octopus do have like these plastic, black plastic stands that they sit on. This particular one doesn't have one. Um, but we're just going to make sure this is nice and tight. All right. This particular one doesn't have one. Um, I actually purchased this one from uh, aquacave.com. Um, they're pretty good. I think there's like only three people that work at that place, but um, they're pretty good at getting stuff delivered on time and stuff like that. Uh, um, I haven't used, um, I think it's uh, Marine Depot or something like that. I think, uh, um, I think Adjuster Frank, oh, shouts out to Adjuster Frank also. I think Adjuster Frank uses uh, some company like that. I forgot the name. I, I mean, I just can't recall it right now, but I do know the website. Oh, Bulk Reef Supplies. That's what it is. Um, I think uh, those guys use Bulk Reef Supplies. They say they're pretty good and stuff like that. Um, me, personally, um, I just look at pricing. And Aqua Cave does have um, some of the lowest prices. I don't know if Bulk Reef Supply does uh, price matching on the internet. But if they don't, then... Uh, the people I use do our next piece our next move is placing this right here okay as you can see it has a little screw you slide the screw into here and basically what we're gonna be doing is uh, connecting this up here so basically we're gonna take this stick it up into here and we're going to screw it in Let's see if I can get that going. All right. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to have to get the... Uh, hopefully, this works out. I'm going to have to get the screwdriver. This is why you need background music, like elevator music, right? So while you're waiting, trying to see me screwing some soft little screw, you guys got something to do. All right. Now, <clears throat> matter of fact, there we go. That works a lot better, doesn't it? Okay. So our next part here is we're going to be taking this right here. This is basically like the little Venturi that gives air. It's connected like like this okay and basically the reason I separate it you just pull off the bottom because we want to slide this on top now there's a dual there's a dual piping on the top so right here as you can see one two that goes on the top that that this is how you're gonna aerate this thing now you're gonna slide the bottom piece on make sure it's all nice and snapped um, I don't know what is this I guess it's a little dirt 
Um, we'll go ahead and I'll clean that later. Um, all right, there we go. Now, our next step is we have this, which we have to connect to this. So we need this hose right here. Um, all right, we're going to take this hose and let's put it into the bottom first. Hmm, hmm. Don't really like the way that's cut. All right. You're going to slide the holes in. There you go. All right. Now, we're going to take the top and we're going to connect it like this. And we're going to slide the holes in as far as we can. You don't want to make it too tight. Um, by the way, guys, this hose does come a little longer. I'd pre-cut it. I think I pre-cut it a little too much. Um, as you can see, it's, it's not really too loose, but it's not super tight. Um, I can um, allot some space by uh, sliding this up just slightly. If it does, okay, which it is. All right, there we go. See, now we got a little play, which is what you basically want. Um, now, as you can see, we still have some pieces over here. This right here is the top of this. We're not going to be using it anymore. So I don't know what the purpose of them sending it was. All right, now you have this piece right here. You're going to take this piece and you're just going to, it doesn't matter which side, you're just going to slide it on. All right. And then you have this, which you're going to take and you're going to slide that on. Uh, as you can see, it's a gate valve. And it has springs inside of it. Uh, hold up. All right. I don't know if you guys can see the springs. I don't have a flashlight per se. Uh, well, um, Krug 131 or 1313. How do you, uh, uh, all right, well, I thought I had my flashlight application. Okay, I guess not. I'll have to download that again. Like I said, I had to get a new iPhone, so whatever. But it has basically, like right here, there's like a uh, a rod that basically turns. It's like twist technology, and this is how you determine how much flow is going in or out, stuff like that, how much flow you want to go in. So, and you turn it up and down and this is how you regulate your flow now there's also this piece right here that we're gonna grab see one side is metric the other side is British for whatever reason and you're just gonna slide that in there all right there we go um, that piece goes right there now make this all nice and pretty we're gonna be adding this right here gotta slide this right on As you guys can see, everything is together. Now, this is how you build the re octopus. In order to test it, what you want to do is you want to take like a uh, large container. You could put some fresh water in there if you just want to test it. Um, I guess we'll be doing that in episode two. Or you could place it directly into your system if you're ready to and just test it into your system. Um, when I say fresh water, I don't mean like your sink water or your uh, water hose water. I'm talking about some RO water. Just make sure you use some good quality water because you don't want to contaminate your stuff. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, there is a plug right here. Um, you just slide that right in there. But as you can see, this thing is a tower. It's, it's a beast. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I think it's going to work pretty well. Um, that's why I purchased it. If you guys want to see uh, what they run for or uh, how they run, just do a little research. 
if you need the websites i can always give them to you um i think there's a couple youtube videos on these bad boys running also but i mean this is a octopus a reef octopus so i mean uh the name speaks for itself if you guys have any questions concerns comments or anything like that just uh hit me up and this is going to be jb signing off and thank you guys for watching peace